Slow sips half done. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Feravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Feravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Feravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. I fought some hard battles at Feravid's side, and found him to be an honorable man. No, no, he's a wily one, that man. He has got you fooled as well. You must keep digging. Where is he now? What is he doing? We are to meet at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch, she is kind and... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bianca! I'm going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. Is not here. Hmm? This letter came from Wiki. She must have gone there.
It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Have a look, Sunan. Moira, we must go before they burn your cottage to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right, I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It'll take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? You will talk to my fists! Up your ass, Odin fucker! It'll be fun. You can't take us all on. Now, leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last thing you see. Murder. It is safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Halfton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Halfton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Hafton, good to find you here. The Raven Feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. You could be spying from above. Olav! Speak to us! Where are you? <laughs>
He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Be Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! These men you suspect of treason. Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Here, a hidden entrance. They might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of winter's cold. Pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? I've done it. Avon, something is there. Hold on. We'll find a way through. I've done it. Give me a hand with this! Hey! Come here! The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. ...by plotters and... ...schemers! What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you. Not willingly. She also said she'd seen your illness before. In her own family, she said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! Shh. Listen! These will be the thieves who stole my tribute.
Gulf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacaster, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the walls. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringa. Press him, Eivor. As hard as you can. Never let up. And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine! No right to... It's rightfully mine. <laughs> Eivor, you made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfr. Poor Ulfr. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. The songs of skulls and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. 
He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days. Now, too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Best not fall off your horse. See you in your way. Oops. Your horse is slow and her rider's drunk. The gods love a fool. My friend, fly. Show Faravid our asses. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. Hey! You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick.
Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishir answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishier cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise! I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. Greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it, if we falsify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. Costs more than bread. Things you have. You're met. just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. It's tricky to be done. the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. The 
Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Ferevit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Haltan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself to force Rishia's corporation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. I'm feeling a bit dry over here. Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes. We do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Last time. Ugh. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Fair 
better it should be waiting as then we yet. Will he be here? Eivor, hey, good to see you. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Lovina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. know our plan. He'll hear the aftermath soon enough. Lay off the mushrooms! Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my arm. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every couple, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue.
Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken!
for Thor! For Ragnar! For Halfdan! Ah, oh, the sweet taste of victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Halfdan. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. to the north. Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness, a, a cave. 
Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. The Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this Shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Eivor, welcome. Halfdan has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. I struggle to be safe. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. Our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom. Long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <coughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Sheath your weapon, Ferovit. 
Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Halfton, stop! This is a man of honor! You stand beside this... this traitor? I do. Let truth guide us here, not madness. I am Halfdan Ragnarsson, wolf of war, lord of Jorvik, ruler of men! I am king! Not my king. I will not bow to a man who accuses me of treason. In days yet to come, men will sing the praises of Haftan and scorn the life of Faravid the betrayer. You are the hero of a coward's tale. A man who hid behind his best men and claimed their victories for his own. You are banished. Out! Never again set foot in my lands! Thank you, King. I... No more. Leave me. Big noise. You are fearfully quiet, Abel. One should never break a silence without reason. For Northumbria, now that Hafton is king, many may suffer if his madness goes unchecked. And who is to blame for his madness, Fedovic? I should demand an apology for that, but there is no need. Soon I shall be long gone, far away across the way road where the fates guide me. End of the road. Goodbye, Eivor. Did you know about the goblets? The lead? Now's the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. We hope for many things in this life, yet we earn so few of them. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rambi. Best tell her the good news. I intended to use it. Please, calm down.
Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You'll state your cases and I'll hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... 30 times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh, no. Now you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your Jarl, 
the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself? My judgment stands. Thirty times the sailcloth's value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not. ...in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid... ...but nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him, as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halft and Jarl. I left a friend of Halfdan the king. We have an oath, at last. Good. Very good. <laughs>